Welcome to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as France, starting in 1920. This is episode 18, and I'm hoping for a pretty straightforward year. The last year ended pretty well, if our finances took a bit of a bashing. So we're now not going to move into starting, well actually we are. I was going to say because we haven't got the money, but actually we've got 60,000 in the kitty. And uh, so, yes, why not? Puts us a bit over, but hopefully increasing tensions should be able to deal with that. Goodness knows everything is sweetness and light with a little bit of, you know, just a little tinge of annoyance. But we need a lot more. We've certainly got a lot of long term construction. So as you can see, these are all going to take two years to build and we also have a set of submarines that aren't going to be finished until 1932 either so we're not going to get any relief from that fleet tactics always love fleet tactics reduces the risks of breakdowns I hadn't really noticed breakdowns being common but good to have dive bombing <laughs> just as we've paid for a license to get some German dive bombers and taken the prestige hit, boom, along comes dive bombing. Right, well, ho hum, let's, uh, and there's the German dive bomber ready for operational service. Well, we'll produce our own and uh, see what that looks like. Let's go to aircraft types. Request a new aircraft. Let's call it a dive bomber. Uh, range and hmm. So I'm looking at my reliability, and we've got goods, poor's, average, average, good, average, poor for the German. So I still think reliability is a thing. So let's see what that can do for us. And the poor is our fighter. And our fighter is 1928. So once we've got the dive bomber through, it will be time to, uh, to have a look at replacing the fighter with something a bit better reliability, perhaps. On the plus side, I'm noticing that our total expenses are 37,000, um, which has never been that high. You know, usually in the past, it's been like 20, 24,000. So this budget lift is really helping us. Uh, they're interested. Yeah, we can help the Russians, poor old Russians. And improved landing guidance systems. Uh, lowering the risk of accidents. Well, that's nice too. Oh, what can you do? What can you do? Third reduction in our budget because tensions are low. And I've had no tension events now for, I don't know, a year and a half or something like that. That really hurts. So the Americans have come out with this uh, tiny little uh, light carrier. I mean, 11 airplanes. It's it's virtually a um, escort carrier. Not sure how they think that's going to be useful. So the reduced tensions lowered my uh, annual budget by 20,000, increased the monthly balance from minus three and a half to um, minus 5,000. So, you know, that will start to chew through my little uh, piggy bank of funds unless we actually manage to get some tension. Uh, it's nice to have some sort of technology leads that I can actually sell stuff to people. Another 2% saving uh, this time on machinery. That will help as well. We've had five 
one, two, four inventions by June. So hopefully this will be a good invention month. Offer of quality one 11 inch guns? No. I mean, one ship still does have them, but really, I should scrap that. In fact, I will scrap that. So, no thanks. Ah, a little bit of stuff. Oh, well. Um, strong diplomatic notes. See if that helps the budget at all. No. Okay. Let's take this little chap. He's in mothballs. It's only going to save 52. He's not exactly going to take the world on fire. 24 knots, only 7 inch belts, um, 6 11 inch guns. It's, um, it's, no, it, I should have, I'm being a bit sentimental. I should have scrapped it a while back. There we go. And at this rate, we're going to have to halt construction on something. And again, ah, the prime minister wants battleships to increase our national prestige. He wants us to build three additional battleships. After three slashings of our budgets, down to 389 when it had been 450 so a 60,000 ish cut uh no and a bit of damage control that's always lovely ah unexpected advances in submarines so that's not going to be any use for the submarines we have under construction which will have about a 73% uh, effectiveness, but should take the next class of submarines up to 78 or so. <laughs> um, 19 inch guns, quality minus one, not helpful. 10 inch guns, quality one, that would have been helpful. New dive bombers ready, right. So what have we got here? So here's our German one. Um, and I'm looking at the range, 161 against these two guys range of 100, 114. So no, I'm, uh, I'm going to stick, even though it's got poor reliability, I'm going to stick with our license production. And of course, defying the prime minister has, and his battleship craze, has slashed the budget by another 20,000. That's the fourth budget cut in what, nine months or so? 10 months? 11. Enough. Right. Well, according, according to the spies, the uh, dive bombers are better than ours, but anyhow, at least we have some. And another research breakthrough. Ah, well, at least that's good news. Germany wants to extend our security. Well, yes, they've been a, um, a good ally. Colonial crisis with the USA has arisen. You are asked for recommendations, right? Uh, we must safeguard our interests. And if that leads to war, we are prepared to fight it. <laughs> that would be a, a sudden, sudden jump from a very modest tension, but let's see what that does unexpected oh this has been a great year for research after a, a couple of indifferent years that's our ninth research breakthrough uh, let's close that okay well at least that's taken our uh, tension up to eight nothing to get too excited about but every little helps Let's go to aircraft types and request a new fighter. And let's of course go for speed. I'm, I'm going to go for firepower for the fighter. I'd like to go for reliability, but I think the uh, firepower will matter more. 
I can tell you the feeling from last year when I felt so flush with money has uh, long um, dissipated. Uh, headlines on threat has finally authorised an increase. Hooray, hurrah. So, and, and a good increase. I mean, it's not up to where it has been, but it's above where it started in the year. So at least thank you for that. Well, at least this year has flown past. Let's have a look at the year in summary. So no refits, two battleships and a carrier and 10 submarines all still under construction. Uh, the submarines will finish next year, but the three big ships will finish just into the year after. No rebuilds, no scraps. With four cuts in the budget, we've uh, seen the funds go down and down and down and down. Um, we will see actually that continue next year because we're still at minus 3,400 at the moment. Um, the expenses has you know stayed pretty steady as we've continued but as you can see the uh, the deficit the balance has been in the negative throughout really difficult nine new techs that's a lot and you know we've had a couple of years with five techs each so um, really nice to see that tensions as you've seen um going down actually i think there were two downs uh, and two ups. So the budget started at 408, now is at 415 after dipping down to 389. Tensions, well, at least slightly creeping up, but I mean, it's not an exactly a helter skelter race to any kind of war. So cross fingers that um, we'll develop something better next year. It's been a short episode for a quick year, but all the better for that. Looking forward to next year. Hope you can join me. Stay safe and goodbye for now.